Hi, church family. I just want to share with you some thoughts in our video segment, Living Hope. And I was reminded in Romans 4 the other day that we have access to a level of hope that this world doesn't have. And that's because it's not something that we've manufactured or something that we're forcing. It's simply because of our relationship with God, there is a level of hope that exists for us that to the world might seem ridiculous. To those that don't have relationship with God, this might seem unrealistic, illogical, and all of those things. But we, we're reminded of Abraham's example here. And imagine being Abraham, you know, old in age, a wife who's also old in age and barren, and God then giving him a promise that, Abraham, you will be the father of many nations. Now, if you were to hear that, you'd think it's a strange word and was it something that I ate because this doesn't make sense. Yet God has a way of calling us higher to his realm and invites us into what he sees. And this season that we all find ourselves in, this is an important truth to grab a hold of because it says in verse 17 of Romans 4 that God calls those things which do not exist as though they did. And that's God seeing this from a perspective that though we have all of the fear and the panic around us, and though the news reports and the modeling that's going on does not look encouraging, God sees things from a different perspective. And then it says in the next verse, relating to Abraham, that who in contrary to hope, in hope believed. And what this is talking about here is that contrary to ordinary human expectation, which is what my Bible study notes say, that in hope, Abraham trusted God that his promises are secure, that his promises do not fail, and that what God says, he will always back up. So when God speaks something over us, when God gives us a promise to hold on to, we need to remember that within those words, within that promise, is everything necessary to make it come to pass. So what has God promised us in this season we find ourselves in? Well, firstly, we know full well that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. And that's a promise that we can hold on to regardless of what we face. So though you might be isolated, though you might be isolated in a room or your house, the fact is that you are not alone. God is with you. God's presence is so real during this time. I was just saying to Kaz the other day that in my um, private time with God each day, the richness of his presence is thicker and more beautiful than I have ever experienced in many, many years. It's so refreshing. So I'm walking out of my secret place with him to do work or whatever it is, and I'm blown away by how he has aligned my heart to his. Because in hope, I'm believing that what he says will always be true. It also says that um, Abraham did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Something that we are becoming aware of is that this test that we're facing is an amazing opportunity to build faith. Our faith is getting some good muscle on it. So we are choosing to see this not from a doom and gloom, end of the world mentality. Because I guarantee you this, this virus is not from God. There is a sinister demonic element to this. So if we know where it's coming from, we know we have authority over this. So our hope is the fact that the name of Jesus still works and is still full of authority and full of power. That we are not alone in this journey. And that we are overcomers. So be encouraged, dear family. This has come to pass. And the glory that God will show through all of this will amaze us. We will, at the end of this, be marveling with the amount of testimonies of what God has done and will continue to do through this. So let me just close this time in prayer. So Father God, I thank you that your promises are secure, that what you say never fails. I thank you, God, for the living hope within us, that our hope is not built on what the world is saying around us, but our hope is built on you. You are a father who never leaves. You are a father who promises the miraculous breakthrough time and time again. 
So God, we hold on in hope to you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for embracing us and getting us through this. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Love you guys and talk to you soon.